We need. And I was dreaming. What about? Oh, nothing. Doesn't make sense. You can't dream about nothing. Well, nothing that you'd understand. Oh, well, thanks very much. Bill. What? Look at me. I said, look at me. playing at. That's Arlock from Battersea. Rockers. And that's Rod Jenkins. Let's go. You go if you want to. You don't want to walk home, do you? It's a long walk. I don't think I'd have to. I really don't. Boy, how they go. Fred Norton. Hi. I didn't know you knew this place. Didn't know you did. It's Tom who was going, Win. Nice company you keep, very polite. You surprise me, Win. honestly you do. Get lost. W-R. Why have you got your initials covered up? You're ashamed of them. <laughs> Anytime you want. You can't make a fool of me, aren't you? Do I have to try? I want to stay away from him. He's been inside, you know. I know. He's no good. It's nice when you're jealous. Prove something. What? Come on, let's get back. from way back. Chief Inspector Keane has spoken. You know what I'd do if I had my way? 
I'd part them from their souped-up machines, not for two years, but for ten. Thing, that's funny. He's wrecked it. You mean we can't get home on it? Oh, use your nut. Look at it. Well, what are we going to do? I don't know. Well, I know what I'm going to do. It's hopeless. It always is on Sunday. If it wasn't for you, I'd get a lift all right. And a couple of other things you didn't bargain for. Well, let's look for a bus stop. Here, uh, I've got no money. That's it. Paid on Fridays and broke on Sunday. Well, I had to pay for my trousers, didn't I? And the new shoes that you made me buy, remember? You said blame it onto me. Why don't you get yourself a decent job? Now, look, Wynne. Well, I'll go to night school. I'll get myself a decent job. I'll do anything you like, so long so as... So long as what? So long as you stay away from Rod Jenkins. You don't know what it's like for me to see you start... Well, you know. It's ugly, is jealousy. Ugly. I can't help it. I'm crazy about you, Wynne. Bus coming. Yeah. Have you got any cash? I'll pay you back. It's not going our way, is it? You can take us to the nearest station. Well, with my money, thank you very much. <sighs> well, I think I'll have a little nap. You do that, darling. <sighs> Sundays. What's wrong with Sundays? It's so. <laughs> Not to me, they aren't. How could anybody sleep in the middle of the day? Dead easy. You used to do it. Yeah, sure. When I was a kid. Centuries ago. Give me a call at tea time, will you, love? Right. Dad? Hmm? Dad? Couldn't we do something? Like what? Anything. Just as long as it's... Hey, I have an idea. Well, let's go to Battersea Fun Fair. Oh yes, yeah, sure, great. <laughs> we could go on the roller coasters, the water splash, the dodgems. You'd love it, Dad. You would, darling. Look, Malcolm, I'll do anything, anything in the world for you. On a Sunday afternoon, all the gold in the Bank of England wouldn't get me to Battersea Fun Fair. <laughs> Took your time, didn't you? Well, I had to go home and change, didn't I? And freshen up. Uh, now you're here, you might as well give us a kiss. Do you mind what people think? I don't care what people will think. Well, I do. Oh, since when? Look, if you're going to start quarrelling again, I'm going home. I think I'll go anyway. It's Sunday night. It's our night. Look, I've got to wash my hair. Oh, come off it. I have. You're going out in the streets, aren't you? Bill Rose. To look, to look for Rod Jenkins. What are you calling me? A trap. Well, a dirty liar and a lousy little trap. Now, you listen to me. I've had enough of you. Compared to Rod Jenkins, you're just a silly kid. You make me sick. You chicken, that's what you are. Chicken! <laughs> you hit me! What is it? She must have said something awful to make you do that. Never mind, love. She's not the only girl. If you're doing nothing now, we could go to the Café des Artistes. It's bad. Get lost. Thank you. Ed. 
must be Winnie. Come back for something, I suppose. She's gone upstairs. I wonder if she'd like a cup of tea. Winnie? Sounds as though she's crying. Oh, yeah. I'd better go and see what it is. You spoil her. You're only a stepfather. She's my daughter. She's all I've got. You can say that with me sitting here. Thank you very much. Oh, I didn't mean that, and you know it. Ah, go and kiss your darling little daughter better. Hey, listen, don't forget we're going down to pictures. If we don't leave in five minutes, we'll miss the old program. Winnie? <laughs> What's the matter, love? That Bill Rose. He hit me. Hit you? Wait till I get hold of that boy. Bad blood, that's what it is. Come on. Shall I fetch you a cup of tea? Thanks, Mum. I think I'll stay home tonight. Will you? Then I'll make you something special. Thanks, Mum. You're a very brave little girl. Can't you stop calling me little girl? I'm grown up now, hadn't you noticed? I'm sorry, dear. Hey, what are you doing? We're going to be late. Winnie wants some supper. Ah, uh, Winnie wants this, Winnie wants that. You don't know what that poor child's been through. That Bill Rouse hit her. <laughs> Probably asked for it. Oh, she's not that sort of girl. Takes two to make a quarrel. Winnie didn't start it. She was only defending herself. He's mad with jealousy, that boy is. The girl's not safe with him. Hey, listen. What would happen if I come home blubbing and you and Wynne was going out, eh? Yeah, well, you can look after yourself. Yeah, I can jump in the river for all you care if poor little Winnie wants a supper. Ever since we got married, it's been the same. Winnie first and me, like a piece of furniture. If you don't like it, you can move out. This is my house left to me by Winnie's father. Now, just you remember that. How can I forget? Anyway, what's a mother for if it's not to give love and affection? And what's a wife for, may I ask? Get a move on. Hello. Hello. Would you like a glass of sherry, love? No, thanks, Mum. I would. It's for callers. And Winifred. She needs something. She's had a shocking experience. Yeah, she needs something, all right. I hear your fancy man bashed you. Not much to show for it. He can't have bashed you hard enough. Well, what a thing to say to her. I hate you. <laughs> don't go any longer. I've got your supper on. Why don't you give it to him? <laughs> like to throw it at you. Ah, you make me sick. to say. Well, in future, you'll leave her alone. I'll not have her driven out of her own home by you. Are we going to the pictures or not? You can go on your own. No, thanks. She called me chicken. Chicken, me. Winifred Norton is just playing common, Bill. She's no good. Yeah, maybe so. But Rod Jenkins isn't having her. Bill, I know it's not the same going out with your sister, but why don't you forget Winifred for just one night? I'll treat you to the pictures. I've got other things to do. Such as? Well, I'll, I might get drunk. No, that's not very sensible, is it? I don't feel very sensible. I'll show her. And Rod Jenkins. Bill, please. What? Look, if you change your mind, I'll wait for you outside the embassy box office at 8 o'clock. making for the park. I just saw them go by. 
So what? Well, I won't be surprised if she hasn't gone there too. Don't like it, not with the mood she's in. All right, if it makes you feel any better, I'll go and find her, bring her home. I'd be grateful if you would, Fred. I'll just get me coats, turn a bit chilly. Thanks, love. Fingerprints, William. Well, Sergeant. Sir. There's a bit of luck. The initials. W R. He was mad with jealousy. I warned her. I told her it was bad. Oh God, if only she'd listen to me. No, no, dear. Oh, oh my baby. Mrs. Norton, can you tell us the exact time she left you? Left? Why do you keep questioning me? I've told you Bill Rose killed her. I didn't kill her. I can't help me, I didn't. He couldn't have. Why not? Because at the time you say it happens, we were at the pictures. All evening. From 8 until 11. 20 past. And then we came straight home. Found these in the dustbin, sir. Our oh, dustbin? Yes, miss. You couldn't have. What's this? It could be blood, sir. Couldn't be blood. This is absolutely crazy. Are these your shoes? I... Well, they look like a pair that. Are they your shoes? Well, yes. But I don't know how they got in the. Get them down to the lab. Mr. Rose, I'm afraid I must ask you to accompany me to the police station. Commander Gideon, I uh, sure it's like a father he's been to me. Good Lord, as regular as Christmas, aren't you, Pat? And sure it's lovely to see you again, Mr. Bell. Come on, Pat. Patrick O'Donovan, sir. Patrick O'Donovan, welcome home. Sit down, sit down. Ah, uh, thank you, Your Honor, thank you. Cigarette? Ah, uh, good. And you know, it was only this morning I thought I was going to give these things up for good. I would lose if you'll have to now, doesn't it? I was dead unlucky, Your Honor. Dead unlucky. Caught red-handed this time. What have you done with the stuff? Oh, I see. Not talking, eh? All right, then I'll talk, Your Honor. Good. Look, it's safe and sound with poor old grandmother. Ah, she's a very old lady. And you know what? what? She still says a little prayer for me every single night of her life. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, Joe. Superintendent Smed of Battersea. Right, right, thanks, Joe. All right, David, take him away. And if your grandmother happens to remember where she put the stuff, just uh, send word back to me, will you? And sure, maybe we'll be eating again sooner than we thought. Oh, yes, I keep that in mind, you sir. You do. Oh, and the yeah. best regards to the wife, sir. Ah. Gideon. Hello, Smed. Yes, I read your report. I understand you're making a charge. Yes, sir. We found the knife and Rose admits owning it. Let me have the details, will you? Yes, I'll keep you informed, sir. Right, Mr. Gideon. I don't know how my knife got there. I lost it. I don't know how my footprints got there either. I was never near those bushes. That's all I can tell you. I'm afraid that's not good enough, Mr. Rose. Take him down, Sergeant. Oh, go on, Matthew. Nothing doing. Oh, all home for supper. That makes a welcome change, I must say. I made a cheese souffle. Oh, Matthew, please. I'd rather die. It has to be eaten the minute it's cooked. 
I'll give you ten shillings. What for? She wants me to take Caroline Brown to a dance. Uh -huh. She's got a long nose and buck teeth. She's a very nice girl. And to her mother. Oh. All right, all right. It's the phone at the fire alarm. It's probably for me. I'll get it. I'm expecting Jeff to phone. Well, whoever it's for, hurry up. This will be ready in one minute. It wouldn't hurt you to be sweet to Caroline Brown. Her mother's charming. Oh, maybe a, maybe her mother likes to go to the dance, eh? <laughs> it's John Peterson. His dad's taking him to Tempting Bowling. Can I go too? What about your supper? Oh, I've got to meet them on the oh. corner in two minutes. All right, if you want to go without it. Thanks, Mum. Bye, all. Hey, that looks terrific. New recipe. Very special. Oh, really? Probably Jim. Well, ask him in. We've got plenty. But hurry up. OK. Hello, Prue. Hello, Mary. Could I see you a moment? Yes, of course. Come in. Prue, I must talk to your father. Will you ask him? Well, he's... Please, Prue, it's very urgent. It's about my brother. I, I suppose you know about Bill. Yes. Well, all right. Wait in here and I'll see what I can do. Thanks. I, I won't keep him a minute, I promise. Why don't you take Caroline to the dance? I'm going to. When the price is right. Who was it? Dad, it's Mary Rose, Bill Rose's sister. What, here? Yes, we're at the School of Music together. We're old friends. She wants to talk to me? Yes, Dad. Would you, please? Where is she? She's in the sitting room. Oh, well. Back to the oven. Good evening. Miss Gideon? Yes. I'm sorry to come to your house like this, but... Oh, that's all right. Glad to talk to you. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, thank you. Cigarette? Oh, no, thanks. Well. Uh, Mr. Gideon, Bill didn't kill Winifred Norton. Didn't he? No. Well, can you help us prove that? The last thing we want to do is to put an innocent man through this sort of ordeal, isn't it? Well, that isn't how the police acted when they arrested him. They, they seem to enjoy it. Aren't you exaggerating? No, I'm not. They talked to me just the same way. They told me not to waste my time in trying to save him. Oh. Did, did they? He didn't do it. Look, Miss Rose, people aren't arrested without a very good reason. Well, he couldn't have done it. Why not? Because he was with me all evening. Oh, where? At the pictures. The embassy in Battersea. Oh, I know anyone can say that, but it happens to be true. Do you meet anybody you know? Well, thousands of people must have seen us together, but who are they? I mean, I don't know. Well, have you made a, an official statement about this to the police? No. I came here instead. You see, Prue and I are friends, and I thought that... Oh, Mr. Gideon, Bill's innocent. I know it. Will you help us, please? Mary, I'll arrange for someone to take your statement. I don't want the slightest bit of evidence overlooked. But I can't do these things personally. Mr. Gideon, I hope you don't think I'm taking advantage in knowing Prue. Mary, anyone has a good reason for wanting to see me always can. You don't need special influence. It's simply that I haven't been dealing with the case myself. Well, couldn't you? No. But it's under my authority, and there's no reason why I shouldn't look into it. We went to the pictures. He'd had a quarrel with Winifred and was very upset. He hadn't got any money, so I treated him. Nobody will believe that, but it's true. Oh, Mr. Gideon, will you help us, please? I'll do what I can. Will you talk to Bill? All right, I will. You promise? Yes, I promise. Now, let me get my son to drive you home. If your brother's really innocent, you've got nothing to worry about. Matthew. Yes, Dad? Mary Rose, this is my son, Matthew. Hello. How do you do? Would you run Mary home? Sure. It's very kind of you. Well, it's no trouble. Come on. Thank you, Mr. Gideon, for anything you can do. That's all right. Now, try not to worry too much, eh? Yeah. Good. Does anybody mind if we have supper now? Ready when you are, Kate. No. Oh, thank you very much. How well do you know Mary Rose? Fairly well. You like her? <laughs> yes, everybody does. Why? I'm trying to decide if she was telling the truth. Notice the worn area on the heel, on the outer part of the sole. Proving that they're Rose's footprints. Proving that the footprints found around Winifred Norton's body were made by this shoe. Which Rose admits belongs to him. 
What about the knife? Rosie's fingerprints all over the blade, but the handle was wiped clean. All right, Carlson, thank you. I've spoken to the cinema staff. The box office girl remembers the sister. She swears she had nobody with her. Now, she says she treated him. She might have bought the tickets while the boy waited. Well, that's the corniest alibi of all time. The pictures. Yes, it's been tried before, all right. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Well, the public prosecutor's wishing a new boy us. That's right. Yeah. Well, it's his first embezzlement prosecution, so if you ask me, he'll want wet mercy. Yeah. Right. This Rose girl, it's not so much what she said as, as how she said it. I had a feeling she was telling the truth. But surely, sir, it's open and shut. You're not a... influenced, are you? By what? Well, there's always a danger of judging a boy like this by his hair, his clothes. Nobody's influenced by the way Rose dresses, or his hair. He'll be appearing in court this afternoon. We'll ask for a week to get it all sewn up before we commit him for trial. Yeah, good, good. You mind if I have a word with the boy? Of course not, sir. But you can take my word for it. William Rose is as guilty as hell. Of course, I'm guilty. Look at me. My hair, my clothes. How you look has nothing to do with why you're here. Oh, Mr. Gideon. I'm branded because of how I look. I can feel it in court today. Everybody looking at me feel like some sort of germ. A cockroach or something. With everybody just waiting to pull me arms and legs off. You're imagining things. I'm a mod, so automatically that makes me into a shiftless, no-good layabout killer. You still have to be proved guilty. Oh, you got it wrong. I have to be proved innocent. What about your knife? I lost it. When? Oh, I can't remember. A week ago. Well, how'd you explain it being found beside Winifred's body with your fingerprints on it? I can't explain it. Did you, uh, tell anybody you'd lost it? Just Winifred? Not Mary? No, uh, especially not Mary. She gave it to me for a birthday present. When? A week ago, Saturday. How'd you explain your footprints being found all over the place? I can't explain that either. But I never went near those bushes on Sunday night. Who do you think killed Winifred? Oh, I've no idea. What about this Rod Jenkins? Rod might want other things, but not to kill her. You can't think of anybody else? No, Mr. Gideon. Just me. William Rose, killer. Oh, I'm sorry. So hopeless. Look, tell me all about this film you saw. The short, the advertisements, anything you can remember. What's the use? I'll say I went Friday night or Saturday. Program changed on Sunday. Mm -hmm.